the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We greet you in the name of Jesus. He's our Christ. He's our God. He's our potentate. He's our leader. He's our director. He's our resurrection. And we thank God for Jesus. Today, I want to talk to you, talk to you about the protections that Jesus prayed about. In John chapter 17, it's called a high priestly prayer. When he prayed, he, in the first five verses, said, Father, now give me back the glory I had with you from the beginning. I have finished the work you gave me to do. And then from verses six on, he starts praying for his disciples. He said, I, I pray that you that you will not take them out of the world, but that you will protect them while they're in the world. Just think, the Lord of glory has already prayed for us. The Lord of glory has already prayed for our protection, our provisions, our processing, our programs. God has already prayed for us, and he prayed to the Father, no, don't take them out of the world, but while they're in the world, protect them. We are protected. We are protected people. We're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. We are protected from the ills of Satan. We're protected from the ills of man. We're protected from ourselves. God has a protection device that he prayed for. And when I'm feeling vulnerable, and I feel vulnerable a lot, when I feel fractured, when I feel like my feelings can't come together, when I feel a lack of peace, I got to remember that Jesus prayed for me. Somebody says, somebody prayed for me, had me on their mind, took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. Your parents prayed, your grandparents prayed, your friends are praying, your family's praying. But Jesus specifically called out your name. He's prayed for you. I know you. I know where you've been. I know where you are. I know where you're going. Jesus has already prayed for me. He's prayed for Raymond Gordon because Gordon gets weak. He prays because I get vulnerable. He prays because I feel like throwing a towel in. He prays because I'm, I am feel like a failure. I feel guilty. I feel uh, sin stricken. I feel like nothing's coming together. I feel like everything's against me. But Jesus prayed for you. I prayed for you. I'm praying for them. I'm not praying for the world. John 17, I'm praying for them. And 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 let me take that microcosm and turn it into a major theme. The fact that Jesus prayed for you, all his prayers are answered. All his prayers are prayers are honored by the Father. All his prayers will come to pass. He prayed for you. He prayed for your family. He prayed about your feelings. He prayed about your failures. He prayed about your fractures. He has already prayed for you. And if we don't have anything else, we can walk, we can get up in the morning and say, Jesus prayed for me. The paraclete, the Holy Spirit, who's the superintendent of church age, he's ruling. He's bringing about truth. He's opening up doors. He's shutting doors. He's increasing my faith. He's increasing my strength. He's, Lord, have, he's watching over our children. Jesus prayed for us. And because he's prayed for us, the result of his prayers is protection, provisions, power, and peace. He has prayed for our peace. When we erupt, when we feel like all hell is breaking out, Jesus has already prayed for our peace. Peace be still. Let go and let God. Sit down, my child. Somebody has prayed for you. Now, what is prayer? Prayer, biblical prayer, is believing that what God has prayed for is coming to pass. Prayer is calling things that be not as though it already was. That's faith, faithful praying. That when Jesus prays, when Jesus prays, he's already calling things that don't exist as though they were, as they did, as though they do exist. 
He's calling into action something that, that that's not even around. He knows what we need. He knows where we've been. He knows what's bothering us. He knows my downtrodding and my uprising. He knows my mountains and my valleys. He knows my sicknesses and, and where I'm well. He knows what's deep, deep, deep in my heart, what's deep on the inside that's crumbling. Jesus knows. And here's, here's the result. He has prayed for me. He prayed for Peter. He prayed for Paul. He's prayed for me. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He's prayed for me. I will never leave you nor forsake you. I've loved you with an everlasting love. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. He's prayed for you. I want you to read John chapter 17. It is phenomenal. It's the high priestly prayer when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane praying for the church, the present church, the future church, praying for disciples, praying for us, praying to the Father on behalf of us. He is the go-between between the Father and us. Jesus the Christ, take this message and retain it the rest of the week. Jesus has prayed for you. And because he has prayed for you, you have to have the victory. God bless you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you. Read John 17 in its entirety.